and I'll turn on the wild split. What's up everybody, Signal here. I love this little trick I'm about to show you. This is one of my favorite things about Bitwig. It's really simple and it involves the loud split. So here's a bass. I'm working on it right now. You can see we just have a bunch of EQs, um, distortions, compressors. I'm just trying to get it to fit, right? So it's not looking bad. Could use some more highs, right? But it does mix. So we're getting there. What it needs is a boost of presence, okay? So I'm gonna turn on my loud split. This is in default mode, and I'm gonna solo out the green, the most quiet bit. I'm gonna pour it down. Let me grab an EQ2. See this? This is what we're working with now. So bringing some presence out of this should be pretty easy. There's a layer of noise inside pigments and I'm bringing up that layer of noise plus any kind of artifacts that are being processed through all this, right? So Oh, that's something to pan. Cut the lows out. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so let's turn that off. Let's bring in the rest of the mix. And I'll turn on the loud split. Isn't that cool? It's already there. Bitwig brings a whole new perspective to the game. It's crazy. Because you could do this with an EQ, but then you'd also be turning this stuff up, right? And it's really annoying. So if you wanted to bring this stuff up without the loud split, I mean, you, you can't really, because you'd be turning something up in your synth, and then everything from here to here is just changed. This is what I tried to show in my loud split video when I did the tonal balance EQ portion, but I think I brought out more artifacts than I want to. But for bass design, those artifacts tend to be pretty useful. That's all for today. You should check out the Patreon. I put some analog drum samples up. I made with a Mini Brute S2, 2S, 2S. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.